السلام علیکم ایوری ون دس از عطا یو آر واچنگ کیاما ایکسپلور تھینک یو سو مچ فار ٹیکنگ یور ٹائم آؤٹ ٹو سی دس ویڈیو بفور آئی اسٹارٹ دس ویڈیو جسٹ وانٹیڈ ٹو سے پلیز ہیلپ می بائی سبسکرائبنگ مائی چینل آلسو سی دس ویڈیو کمپلیٹلی پلیز لائک دیم اف یو فیل لائک Uh, if you feel if any point that really attracts you or really have a meaningful uh, video to you or you know if you really really like it please share it with your friends and around especially if you are youngsters please uh, uh, please see my video uh, I, i do hope they will really interest you and really it means a lot to you as well personally so before we start this video uh, again wanted to thank everyone uh, i've been getting some lovely comments actually that they have been really appreciative of my other videos um, and uh, why not we start this video straight away this is ata you are watching camera explorer and today's topic is stress relief i will be mainly talking about the past uh, and the future stress Uh, how we can cope up with the stress during the present life so guys let's talk on stress uh, as promise uh, how to relieve the stress or what are the ways you can handle the stress so i've jot down some points and hopefully i will try to explain you in my best ability and uh, see if you can understand uh, this video is mainly for all the youngsters out there who are feeling a bit of stress uh, let's say for example uh, during their exam preparation um during you know when parents say you something and what happens that uh, you don't want to do it you want to do something else and then you know you are struggling uh, take example of myself you know i've been struggling a lot in my life so i how did i change i just have to do what i feel like doing um and uh, because um back in my country you know you uh the these sort of job that i'm currently doing in western country it is not as appreciated as you know it should be and that's that that's the major difference so the first step that i will be talking about is parent stress so in parent stress what happens that um, parents take stress a lot guys you know because you know they are quite young age i, I should say well, especially i'm talking about those parents who are newly married and alhamdulillah when they have their own children you know especially the mother you know i have i will i will give you a simple straight for forward example of my of my wife let's say Uh, my child is around 2 plus he is not eating food he is really annoying and you know he's been stressed out you know he really give lots of stress to her mother you know for me you know i don't care you know for me you know i feel like if he wants to eat he eat if he don't want to eat it who who am i to you know push him you have to eat this you other way this that no i'm not i'm not that kind of person uh, who's going to push you and going to you it's your life you enjoy yes but remember you, you don't leave your child alone in such a space that you know your manners your respect you start losing and no there is no way you can you know you need to deal with that you have to be on stop even if i see my child doing bad manners towards someone or you know try to misbehave with someone i would do go quietly and say to no you don't do it like that so these sort of stresses you know 
both parents like father and mother have to take it with for me eating food yes or no in future you know when the child grows up he have to eat he or she have to eat you know um, i've been talking to my friends around you know i asked them my child is not eating do i really have to take this sort of stress you know that you are to have to keep on pushing too when 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 my wife is already pushing and we stress out you know she even cries herself and stuff like that it's too much you know for me you know you know i just want to i want to keep a safe distance with all so because this is not going to affect me this is not going to affect the child it's only going to it's only going to stress her mother which is my wife so this is the point see always remember never stress out whenever your child is not eating food in gradually it will develop i know and i respect all those mother who take lots of stress and you know just just want to change like that this is this is not a you know this is not a magic you know you say hoja you know happen and it happens so unfortunately the world is not like that you have to go through a lot of struggle in your life just to see your child at that stage where you want to be if you want your um, let's say if the if that same child grows up which is my child i will definitely see him eating and enjoying with his friends around yes it is my responsibility and i have to take a stress out as a father i have to be more a serious now i'm not that serious because he's not going to school or he's not taking really seriously anything so if he starts going to school father well the mother is already very stressed out because you know all this eating habit and this stuff but when he or she goes start going to school what is the stress out there the stress is you know uh when going to school you know you are worried what will happen let's gradually you know you always think whatever happened happened for the best and you just leave it and then when the child comes you know if there are any issues i'm definitely sure somehow you will know that you don't have to be worried oh my god did he start it in usual no my wife you know every time you know alhamdulillah my child goes to the child care and you know they there also you know she's banging on my head you know you have to go you have to ask those uh, ladies you know all those teachers and stuff they have eaten food has eaten food i'm like you know i am the middle person uh, you know from them i get good please stop asking me this question you know we are sick of it when i go to my back to my wife my wife you did you ask them i am like oh no who is who is handling this stuff it's me i'm handling the one the stress guys i'm really but alhamdulillah i'm not a sort of a guy who get angry and stuff like that i'm just seeing how much uh, involvement it is between you know uh, parenthood is not easy you know if you are newly married if you have a baby in your life it's beautiful life but problems will start coming slowly and you know when they build up you are crushed into pieces so during this time during this sort of all you need to do is always be patient because you know i feel my wife is not patient at all well because i always try to explain her just don't worry it will happen whatever he wants to eat my child it will gradually this will happen so you know every time you know the ladies will never understand this part but anyway so yeah guys so this is parent stress hopefully um uh, hopefully in future parenthood will change and hopefully it will get better and better but it's something that is you know uh, it's inside your mind because if we don't change our mindset then we won't really understand how to deal with these sort of stress so in order to understand more and more about these stresses you really need to be patient and you need to guide yourself in such a way that you won't you don't want to uh, see this sort of stress coming into your future generation 
Hopefully that won't that will happen, but we don't want this to happen. Hopefully, finger crossed. Guys. So, guys, next is environmental stress. I should say, environmental stress is guys everything in the environment. What are people thinking about you? What are uh, what are your teachers? You know, when you go to your school, uni, or supposedly at work, let's say, what are they thinking about you? You know. All these things you don't really take. You know, people normally what happens, especially at work, especially at politics level, you know, uh, you become very, your mindset really get disgusted uh, because these uh, such jobs, you know, especially when you're going out and when you're working in such a field like these, um, guys, it's... It's really hurting. So what happens that these stresses really make you kill e each other. And we don't want this to happen in our community or in our uh, friendship circle or even in any form, you know. So we we always try to stay away. We, as I told you in my uh, other lecture also, make friends which uh, which will guide you more because if they are guiding you in the right way your those environmental friends or from the outside who have made you friend it's worth it you know they will guide you they will never talk behind your back and it they will give you it's an advantage for you so always try to find yourself in a position where you're safe and you're stressless and the only way is always stay safe. So always back off whenever you're feeling you're being stressed out outside your home and out, uh, or in your uh, circle zone or in your school or wherever you are. So hopefully you will, uh, hopefully I will uh, explain you more in uh, upcoming videos as well. My next uh, topic regarding the stress lifestyle stress guys our lifestyle is very especially for those you know for youngsters you know they don't have a, any lifestyle especially they are living with their family for example for us uh, we have been living with our uh, parents guys it all depends on how you're brought up if your brought up is good enough if your brought up is not bad let's say in uh, in your childhood you seen your parents doing, you know, going to clubs and, you know, all sort of these, you know, which for us, you know, we are not actually been brought up into this environment. We have been so blessed that our parents have been blessed with, uh, with such a religion of Islam. It teach you much more better because in Islam, uh, it's not taught like music absolutely haram. You know, you know all these sort of drums and all these things which have been played. You know, sometimes I too feel, you know, when you're listening to these noha, the sad part of our culture thing is that, you know, sometimes I too feel like, oh my God, I'm listening to the music. Stop it. You know, you're done and dusted. And then my, and then my wife tell me, no, it is, it is allowed. Relax. You know, because we feel like sometimes, you know, uh, either we go extremely to the wrong side, either we go extremely to the religious side. So we can't be too religious that we are going to, uh, let's say if we go to the extreme side of religion, you know, nobody follows religion that strictly that you're going to start hating that person. You need to treat people around you such a manner that they will automatically know that such a humble person you are. So for me, your lifestyle needs to be from A to B. From A to B, you know what your goals are, what your future goals are. Because, you know, uh, you know for example, the life stress will come. In the past, you have done something bad and you are paying for it now in the present life. Well, let's take an example. Uh, let's say in the past, you have been very rude to your parents. And now, especially, you know, in Western, you're literally after 18, you know, you are 
responsible for your own deeds or whatever deed you do. So what whatever you do is basically um, you gain uh, you gain confidence in in, in yourself. Um, let's say when you are mature enough, you know what what is right and what is wrong. So um, uh, so if you're doing if you're doing bad in the past, um, if you don't change yourself, uh, that is going to hurt you. That will bring you a lot of stress in your life, and it's going to get worse. So all you need to do is you need to change your habits. You need to change your lifestyle. Let's say uh, you have a bad habit of smoking. I'm just giving an example. I'm not even sure, you know, even smoking is such a thing, you know, even it's not even haram. It is not even prohibited in our religion. I'm like, okay, that's, that's, now that's a different topic, you know. So let's say, for example, you stop smoking. Let's say my, my grandfather, he used to smoke a lot. Do you know how he actually stopped smoking? Because he actually told my mom that he really play with the ashes of that thing because um, my grandfather used to smoke and I literally used to go, used to, you know, pick up all that ash fair and used to throw, you know, on the thing. My my grandfather, you know, he just stopped it and he started telling you know, no more smoking. I'm done. That's it. And the good thing about that, you know, which I did was a good thing. You know, I'm just giving an example of being a, um, how you change yourself. So I'm pretty sure that's a very good step that my grandfather did. And he should be, he should be proud of himself because he has changed something which, which was kind of a bad for him. So this is what I will feel. The other ways of lifestyle I will say is um, that your education plays a really big role. If you want to, uh, if your lifestyle wants to be in a good structure, you need to be an educated person. You need to know what is right and what is wrong. You need to be taught exactly what is right and what is wrong. Because in schools, you're not taught about stress. I will give you an example of stress in school. In school, they will never teach you stress, you know. They will just, uh, what they will do physically, physically I'm talking about. Physically, they will tell you to come to school, sit down, study, take a break, come back, continue study. You're go- and that's it. Finish, you're going, you're going home. And then your stress is you need to do your education, you need to finish your homework, left, right. And if you don't do that, and you know what will your parents say? You know that parents stress that I was talking about? That parents lecture will go on. If you don't study, you will not get a good job. You know, I feel like that's a lie. Absolutely. If you don't study, it doesn't mean that you're not going to get a good job. It depends what you're good at. So if you're not good at something, you might be good at something else. Uh, you might not be seeing the... Or you haven't even talked to your own children and asked them, what is, what do you want? What do you want to study? Or what do you want to become in future? What we uh, ask these questions is in the past, which is in our childhood, these questions need to be repeatedly asked and maintained level. I know it will change, like, you know, in childhood, you want to become a doctor, you want to become this and that, but by the time, you know, you're you're graduated, you totally become a different person and there are very, there are very, very less people who will become doctors who have already said it in their childhood. So um, I feel you should be, you should ha- have a control of your lifestyle to yourself. You shouldn't be controlled by someone because that is only going to give you stress and nothing else, guys. So always relax, be patient, and your lifestyle will always get better in that way. Um, before I finish up this uh, stress topic, uh, let me quickly talk about happy marriage uh, stress. Uh, in this, I feel like, you know, um, both, both spouses, so that would be husband and wife. 
Um, I feel the best way to release the stress from both of them. Uh, the love is there, okay, but understanding is not there. So, guys, what is the best way to release the stress in a happy marriage? You know, if you feel like there's a big fight going on, you're shouting this and that, straight from day one, you know, you feel like, you know, especially this, this is for all those people um, who feel like their uh, relationship is having started well or, you know, fights uh, of the uh, you know their background fight that is i'm talking about their their uncles or their aunties they have some problem with the girls uh, uh, relation and you know all these sort of things this should when a girl and a guy marry they should they should be only looking after each another and they should be happy within themselves the problem occurs when a third person comes in between them and stop harassing them and they said them that you shouldn't do this you should obey your this you should obey your that no you what you need to do is you always talk if you are a girl you need to talk to your husband and if you're a husband you need to talk to your wife and always try to solve all uh, by talking to each other rather than you know fixing up and you know giving lots of big stories and you know to your mom or to your dad and then screwing up the whole thing you know so you don't do it that way you always talk to your spouse and you always be confident and you always say that you won't leave uh, this stress is from outside and we have to cope up we have to maintain it and what we need to do be be patient and that is the best way to conquer a good happy so wherever the stress comes from between or anywhere around you should always focus what is good for your husband or your wife so if you can solve these issues i'm sure they will never ever you're going to face this sort of stress Guys, let's talk about this last part. It is a private space stress. Uh, what is a private space? The guys always respect each other. Let's say husband and wife. Let's. I will just take an example. We will finish off this topic uh, in this part. So, in private space, guys, always if you are a husband, always give space to your wife. I'm talking about. Um, I'm not talking about like. You know, you should give such a big space that, you know, you have your friend circle and you are with them 24 hours. You're talking to them on WhatsApp and you are just, you know, you don't care about your, um, if you are a girl, you're not taking care of your husband. Uh, and if your husband, you are looking, you know, you have uh, your uh, have your own uh, circle of friends and you don't care about your wife. And no, this is not, uh, uh, thing you should also have uh, respect give some space but not that long space that is going to hurt you or this is going to really damage or uh, really going to uh, stress out both the parties which I don't want that so this um, thing will also occur in your children as well uh, what happens with children as well is that you should give them space as well Yes, stress is a part of life. Uh, if see, you need to. If you are parents, you need to ask your children. Uh, not only in school. This is the problem, guys. We don't ask them. Uh, we only ask them in school and in the university. Okay, are you doing good? Are you good? That's it. After marriage, you know what you do. You don't even ask your children. Are your uh, is your marriage happy or no? If there are problems, as I told you in Happy Mary, um, if there are issues, try to resolve by talking to your husband or to your wife and try to always resolve these issues. Because what happens when the third person comes, he or she will just want to destroy, just want to see, you know, when they are destroyed, you know, the third party will feel so happy. Yes, I did my part, I destroyed their life, you know. Um, he or she doesn't know if they have destroyed someone's life, their life is going to be destroyed worse than that. So you don't worry about those people who are destroying your life. But always remember, 
always be happy and as a family if you are there for your each other if you are there for your children if children are there for your parents i'm sure no one is going to interfere in your private life thank you so much for listening to my stress topic hopefully you might like it hopefully you might not even care about it so if you do if you do like it please hit that like button and keep sharing this video and uh, if you haven't subscribed please do so thank you so much i will catch up with you next time bye